From the CISO series, it's Cybersecurity Headlines. These are the Cybersecurity Headlines for Friday, June 21st, 2024. I'm Rich Straffolino. A target so nice, they hacked it twice. CDK Global offers a SaaS platform used by roughly 15,000 car dealerships. Earlier this week, it announced it suffered a breach, which saw it shut down large parts of its infrastructure and disrupt dealership sales and service operations. As it began restoring services late in the day on June 19th, it suffered another breach that evening, resulting in another shutdown. As of this recording, CDK says it hopes to fully restore services on June 21st. CDK did not indicate if the two attacks are related or what data has been impacted. LockBit activity on the rise. A new report from NCC Group found a newly resurgent LockBit ransomware group surging in attack volume, accounting for 37% of ransomware attacks it observed in May. That's up 665% from April and made LockBit the most active group in the month. An international group of law enforcement agencies disrupted LockBit back in February, with the FBI recently claiming it obtained over 7,000 LockBit encryption keys. But the group soon launched a new leak site, claiming it restored some infrastructure. Clearly, somewhat successfully. Crypto firm claims bug bounty extortion. Back on June 9th, the security researcher contacted the cryptocurrency exchange Kraken about an extremely critical vulnerability that would allow a malicious actor to start a deposit and then receive funds into an account without actually completing the transaction. Kraken CSO Nick Percoco said this exposed no client funds, but effectively allowed the attacker to print assets. After quickly patching, Kraken found three exploits of the flaw that withdrew almost $3 million worth of cryptocurrency. The security researcher said they would only return the exfiltrated funds once Kraken provided a speculated dollar amount that the bug could have caused if not disclosed. Percoco characterized this as outside all bounds of its bug bounty program, calling it extortion and contacting law enforcement. Void Arachnus targeting Chinese-speaking users. Researchers at Trend Micro detailed a campaign by a group dubbed Void Arachnus in operation since at least early April. This targets the broader East Asian community with a particular emphasis on Chinese speakers. The campaign used SEO poisoning to surface malware disguised as VPNs, the simplified Chinese version of Chrome, and pornography-generating software. Once compromised, the attackers captured screenshots, recorded microphones, and performed DDoS attacks. Trend Micro did not characterize the threat actor as state-sponsored. And now thanks to today's episode sponsor, Vanta. Whether you're starting or scaling your security program, Vanta helps you automate compliance across frameworks like SOC 2, ISO 27001, and more. With Vanta, you can streamline security reviews by automating questionnaires and demonstrating your security posture with a customer-facing trust center. Over 7,000 global companies like Atlassian, Flow Health, and Quora use Vanta to manage risk and prove security. Our listeners get $1,000 off at vanta.com slash headlines. That's V-A-N-T-A dot com slash headlines. More details on the AMD hack. A quick follow-up to a story we covered earlier this week. The chipmaker released details on the attack, saying the threat actors did not obtain any business-critical information. The attack breached a third-party vendor site, obtaining specifications used to assemble certain AMD products. An AMD spokesperson said it did not believe the breach would have a material impact on its business. A cherry on top for memory security. The University of Cambridge and SRI International originally started the Capability Hardware Enhanced Risk Instructions, or CHERRY, program in 2010 to develop hardware that integrated memory protection features. Now, the university announced it will form the CHERRY Alliance with the FreeBSD Foundation, Low Risk, and SCI Semiconductor in the fall, with membership roles open now. The alliance will look to drive the adoption of CHERRY technology. In the press release announcing the alliance, the group claims that memory issues accounted for 70% of vulnerabilities used by threat actors. Eufy vulnerability found on Intel CPUs. A report from Eclipsium details a flaw in Phoenix Secure Core Eufy firmware used by Intel motherboards going as far back as 2016 across desktop and mobile systems. Delightfully dubbed Eufy Can Has Buffer Overflow, 
The flaw comes from an unsafe variable in the TPM that creates a buffer overflow that could be used to execute arbitrary code. There's no indication this flaw saw exploitation in the wild. Eclipsium disclosed the vulnerability, which Phoenix Technologies patched in April, but given the span of vulnerable devices, many likely remain unpatched. Hacking campaign threatens French diplomats. France's cybersecurity agency, ANSSI, issued an alert identifying the Russian-linked threat actor Nobelium as targeting numerous French organizations, ranging from the Ministry of Culture to Foreign Affairs. The agency detailed numerous efforts by Nobelium to disrupt the country's foreign missions, from attempting to install cobalt strike on a ministry network to compromising a diplomat's email to spread misinformation. Overall, Nobelium seems focused on capturing strategic intelligence. ANSSI warned these attacks could facilitate future operations by the group and characterized the attacks as a national security concern. Remember, we've got a full slate of live stream content coming up throughout today. It starts off with Super Cyber Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, talking all about hacking generative AI anxiety. Head on over to our events page at CISOseries.com to register to join in on our chat room during the event, get all your questions answered, and just really enjoy this conversation. Then at 3.30 p.m. Eastern, 1230 Pacific, we have our Week in Review show, where we'll be breaking down the biggest news of the week with perspective and expertise from Craft Ventures CISO Bill Harmer. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel to catch the live stream. Reporting for the CISO series, I'm Rich Straffolino, reminding you to have a super sparkly day. Cybersecurity headlines are available every weekday. Head to CISOseries.com for the full stories behind the headlines.